It's no exaggeration to say that the striker fired pistol is the handgun of the current era. I think that's an unassailable fact, judging by the sheer number of models out there on the market. I know it's bound to make fans of hammer fired guns a little sad, but slowly and surely the sun is setting on them. Striker fired handguns offer a seemingly unbeatable combo of simplicity, ruggedness, reliability, and reduced cost for basically no detriment when it comes to shooting performance. No wonder they are taking over. But that can be a problem of sorts for shooters today because there are so many models to choose from. It's hard to know what's good and what's bad, and if there's even really any differences between them. I'm here to help you get to the bottom of that with a list of the 5 best striker fired pistols you can lay your hands on today. We'll get straight into the list, but before we do, please think about signing up as a member of our channel. Your membership will earn you access to members only videos and other great content like downloadable guides for guns and gear. You'll also have our endless gratitude for helping us take our content to the next level and reach an even wider audience of shooters just like you. Okay, sales pitch over. Now let's check out those pistols. One of the most respected and most prolific American manufacturers, Ruger has never quite been in the same category as other American giants like Smith & Wesson, Colt, and Springfield Armory when it comes to service handguns. But judging by their new American compact pistol, that might soon be changing. This striker fired 45 is slim, slick, compact, and still sports a respectable 7 plus 1 rounds on board. The gun features fully ambidextrous controls, and that includes a conveniently located and oversized manual safety at the rear of the frame with up for safe and down for fire. That's bound to please the 1911 fans out there. But what is most interesting to me is the trigger on this pistol. It is among the shortest and the lightest out of all competing striker guns I've handled. The Ruger has hard data to back up my initial impression. More than nearly any other polymer gun I've handled, and certainly among 45s, the American Compact Sweet Trigger makes quick and accurate follow-up shots effortless. I think this pistol is a wonderful choice for concealed carry, as it is as slim as many subcompact 9mm you'll find. It measures just a fraction over 1 inch wide at its widest point. If you've turned your nose up at centerfire Ruger semi-autos in the past, I think you owe it to yourself to give this one a look. I see you rolling your eyes out there. I know that for many shooters, hearing about another Glock is as boring as picking out new underwear. But there's no denying that the titan of pistol manufacturers changed the state of the game with their polymer striker guns. Arguably, it was the Glock 19 that conquered the world even though the Model 17 paved the way. Four entire generations later, seemingly not much has changed with the Gen 5 MOS variant of the 19. It's still 9mm, but now it has ambidextrous controls, forward slide serrations, and optics ready capability right from the factory. That's along with other enhancements like an improved trigger enhanced barrel, and a slightly flared magwell to facilitate loads. The most important part of this pistol, though, is that it still proudly carries on the tradition of invincible Glock reliability and utter durability. That's what really counts when the chips are down and the Glock 19 Gen 5 MOS does not disappoint in that regard. I've got more awesome striker-fired pistols that you need to know about just ahead, but before we move on, do me a huge favor and take two seconds to click like and subscribe. You'll really help the channel, and you can be sure you won't miss out on any awesome videos here on guns you can't live without. Okay, back at it. Walther's flagship PDP line of Stryker semi-auto pistols is incredibly good in every way that matters. Although they were not the first to be designed or even produced, with the use of a mini red dot sight in mind, they are the first that was engineered from the ground up to facilitate a shooter's quick and effective use of said sights. If you are new to the red dot game with pistols, let me explain. Although they are a tremendous upgrade and have tons of advantages over irons, if you take a person who has been shooting iron sights pretty much all their life and put them behind a red dot equipped pistol, it's not going to go well at first. Chances are they won't be able to find and pick up the reticle quickly or effectively. Part of this is practice, yes, but the other part is ergonomic limitations inherent to the design of the gun itself. Walther's PDP was designed to eliminate that uncertainty by making the presentation of the red dot natural and effortless. 
It combines this excellence in human engineering with an astoundingly good out-of-the-box trigger, ambidextrous slide releases, and a slide that is easy to run no matter how you grab it. Walther also designed these guns to be semi-modular, allowing users to swap slide and barrel groups to any frame size. That allows shooters to optimize the size of the pistol to their purposes. A triumph in every way, you can make a great case that the PDP is the current polymer striker-fired gun to beat. It is only let down because of its higher cost compared to its competitors. If you haven't shot one yet, make sure you get that on your agenda. You can argue that Springfield Armory is one of the current leaders in fully featured micro-compact pistols. I'm talking about guns that handle and shoot as well as their larger counterparts, but are still small enough to conceal and carry almost anywhere. Many such guns also feature an MRDS to further extend their capabilities. The Hellcat certainly started the trend, but Springfield has sought to solidify their conquest of the Micro 9 sector with the Echelon. This gun looks like it was chiseled from a chunk of obsidian. It's all harsh angles, deep facets, and highly aggressive textures. This isn't just an edgy aesthetic for marketing purposes, as the pistol is designed to completely lock into the shooter's hand, no matter the situation. But what really sets this pistol apart is its optics mounting solution. It is claimed that the Echelon pistol can mount any miniature red dot currently on the market today, and it can do it without the use of any additional plates or adapters of any kind. This is achieved by way of a comprehensively milled and drilled slide, and the installation of proprietary locking pins that will utterly eliminate any slop or play between the optic and the mounting surface once installed. Having seen this system up close and in person, I'm going to place my bet and say that Springfield Armory has achieved the current state-of-the-art in optics mounting for pistols. I also believe their system will soon be copied in one form or another on other manufacturers' guns. Definitely a cool perk for Red Dot fans, but the Echelon also benefits from an extraordinary 20-round capacity in 9mm. An optics-focused design and class-leading capacity, I think Springfield Armory is proving definitively that they are pushing the pistol paradigm forward with the Echelon. No conversation about modern striker-fired pistols would be complete without mentioning the current leader based on sales alone, the Sig Sauer P365X Macro Comp. It's a mouthful of a name. What else would you expect from SIG these days? But this compact Polymer 9 is undoubtedly awesome. The P365X Macro Comp series truly gives up nothing in terms of performance or features. 17 plus 1 capacity in 9mm and sporting an integral compensator on its 6.5 inch slide, this sleek and slender striker gun is ideal for concealed carry, measuring just 1 inch wide. No other pistol on the market is this slender and keeps this many rounds on tap. App. SIG's own X-ray high-vis night sights adorn the slide standard, as does a mounting point for a miniature red dot sight. Just remove the included cover and you can install any optic that has a shield RMSC footprint. If you want to take your tactical capability even further, a Picatinny rail on the dust cover is ready to accept a light or laser of your choice. When it comes to feature set and capacity, the P365X Macro Comp is the current best in show and likely will be for some time. And that will do it for our list of the best striker-fired guns you can get. Competition is fierce among major manufacturers. No matter who the winner of that particular shootout is, it is you, the consumer, who really wins in the end. There have never been so many great choices out there, as evidenced by the awesome guns we just covered. I really want to hear what you think about the SIG P365X Macro Comp. Is that a striker-fired pistol you would choose, or would you stick with a design that's more mature like the Glock? Let me know what you think and make sure you remember to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.